Alice! Hello, dear. I, I just wanted to pop by and wish you all the best for your job interview today. Job interview? Oh, oh Doris. Thank you. You never told me about a job interview. No. Well, I was going to keep it a surprise. I, I hope I didn't spoil the surprise. Honestly, it's fine. Oh, good. Um, these are for you. Thank you, Doris. You didn't have to do that. These are lovely. Oh, unwanted Mother's Day gift from my eldest. They make me sneeze, you know. <coughs> oh, bless you. Can we just rewind back to the job interview? Where is it? And what is it for? Oh, Chloe, honestly, you really don't need to know. But why shouldn't I know? It's just an interview. I might not even get the job yet. What job? I don't even know. A <coughs> oh, bless you. Look, Chloe, let's just see how the job interview goes and then I'll let you know. All right? Oh, off you go. You're going to be late for school. It's nearly half past eight. Right. Okay. Well, good luck. Break a leg. Don't say that. Best of luck, dear. Bye. Thanks, Doris. Bye. You're 11? Can we settle down, please? We're not year nines anymore. Open your revision books to page 69 and start from the top, please. God, she's moving. Chloe? Yes? It's trunch ball. What is that? In your ear? Huh? Oh, it's an earring. Can you take it out, please? You know you're not allowed earrings the size of Ferris wheels in your ears. Ferris wheel? That's a bit extreme. Studs only. Take it out, please. Oh, come on, miss. It's not that bad. Take it out. <gasps> huh? What? What is it? I can't... Chloe, I can't see. Can I borrow your glasses, miss? Oh, my God. Hi, Sandra. Oh, oh. Mrs. Blunt, to you, Chloe. Hello. What can I do for you? I just saw my mum here. Did I see my mum here? I swear I saw my mum here. I cannot either confirm or deny that. I'm afraid. What do you mean you can't confirm? I swear I just saw my mum through the classroom window here talking to you. Chloe, please can you stop screeching? It's not good for the baby. I'm sorry, what? The rumours are true. What rumours? Am I missing something here? <sighs> having a baby. Yes, we're having a little baby blood. <gasps> Lovely. Congratulations. We're still trying to come up with baby names that we both agree on, but... Was my mum here, Sandra? Yes or no? Mrs. Blunt, to you, Chloe. And I have told you, I cannot give you that information. It's a safeguarding issue. <sighs> Whatever. I'll just ask her myself. Very well. Yeah? Put the phone away until you're out of the school grounds. Otherwise, I'll confiscate it. <sighs> Fine. I saw you. Excuse me? At the school. I saw you. You saw me? Don't try and tell me it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Are we playing virtual hide and seek here? This is weird, man. I wish that was all it was. Mum had a job interview at my school today. No, I didn't. Why would you want to work at a school anyways, innit? It must be like working at a prison. Oh, Ollie, shush. You were there, weren't you? No. Go away. Leave me alone. I saw you with my own eyes. You can't deny you were there. What was the job interview for anyways? A caretaker. Because you're good at cleaning, innit? Charming. Look, if you must know... 
was at the school. I was looking at getting Ollie enrolled for year nine, starting in September. You what? Oh God, it's the school office on the phone. That'd be Sandra. You better answer it. Might be important. I ain't going. Hi Sandra. What is wrong with you? That's brilliant Sandra, thank you. Uh, so when was the start date, sorry? I ain't going. Perfect. See you then. Bye. When do you start then? Uh, Ollie starts very soon. There's no way I'm going to a school. I can't sit still for five minutes. I'm no good at academics. There's a reason I'm homeschooled, isn't it? You might like it. It could be really good for you. No, Mum. I am not going to school. I will run away before you send me to that hellhole. I'm not buying it. I still don't think she's telling us the truth. I am. Oh, of course I am. Where was your job interview then, huh? If it wasn't at the school, where was it? Oh, um, it was at the, oh, the post office. <laughs> Nearly forgot the name of it then. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> You're lying. I hope you are lying. Because I'd rather eat dog food for the rest of my life than go to school. I'd do the same. If it meant you not having to work at my school. Well, it's a good job I'm not then. I'm not a fan of dog breath, really. You know, the truth always comes out in the end, Mother. <sighs> right, that's it. I'm moving out, because I ain't going to school. Nice knowing you. Sit down. You ain't going to change my mind. Shh. Sit down. You're not going to school. Don't worry. Huh? I'm confused. Obviously, you both know I went to the school. But it wasn't about getting you enrolled. I'm looking at taking Sandra's place on reception while she's on maternity leave. It's only for a year. Bruv. So Chloe was right, isn't it? Yes, she was. But she can't find out, Ollie, because if she does, she'll go mad. She don't want me working at her school. So why are you doing it then? I need the money. You know, three mouths to feed. That's a lot of mouths. Right, well, she's going to find out anyway, ain't she? You're going to be on reception at her school. She's going to see you like every day, innit? Yes, she is. But for now, I don't want her knowing. So keep your mouth shtum. Otherwise, she'll do anything she can to stop me working there. Wait, so you want me to lie to her? No, you don't need to lie to her. Just don't say anything. Keep it a secret. Mine and yours little secret, yeah? Well, I'll try my best. But I can't make any promises, innit? Don't say a word.